I don't know what it came out of though. I think I got a valve in uh, in my shoe room from a consumer. I don't signal anyone. Eighty percent power. Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, it's not Hey guys, we're back in the shop up here with Brian Wolf. We're in Michigan, and we've already talked about the awesome 7.3 Godzilla twin turbo machine, the 2000 GT that Brian is building with his son. It's going to be a pretty cool street car, but it had some issues. It had some different engines over time, a lot of wiring that was all over the place. So what they did was they used the OBR system to run the engine, and OBR also makes a separate body controller that takes over the entire wiring and control of the car itself. And, and Brian and the team from OBR are here and they're gonna to explain to us exactly how it works and why you'd wanna use such a system. Brian? Great, so yeah, as Evan said, yeah, this car was really a wiring nightmare. We knew we had to do something different. So I'd really like to bring in Oli and Johan from OBR. And I, there's, what this has is something really cool. It's, it's modern, it's a uh, solid state body control module. So no more fuses, it's all done electronically. So I'm gonna have them we ask, have them come in. I think there's three very important questions that a lot of people would wanna know about this. Sure. And let's let them answer. So we got Oli and Johan from OBR. And one of the things we really wanna talk about is three questions I think that will really help folks understand this. First, in layman's term, explain what a solid state body control module is. And then, why would I wanna use this as opposed to a conventional wiring. What's, what's the advantages? Why do I want to make a big deal out of it? And I think lastly, is it going to be more complicated for me to wire my car using this than doing a conventional system? So let's start with, let's talk to you, know, explain to us what a solid state body control is. Yeah, the solid state body control replaces uh, conventional fuses and circuit breakers and relays in, a, in an analog system. Okay, well let's start with, take us through what a solid state body control module it is. is. Yeah, the solid state uh, body control module is like, a, it's a fuse box for the car, but with no fuses, uh, not, no conventional fuses, no conventional relays, and no uh, very uh, uh, complex uh, wiring uh, done in an analog box. So it's computer controlled, and with that, uh, um, with that ability, we can write very complex um, sof uh, and sophisticated solutions for controlling power in the car. Um, that's very correct. Okay. And besides yeah. all the that it replaces your fuses and your relays, we got CAN bus communication, so you can interact with all the other body modules uh, in your vehicle. Great. So why would I want to use this as opposed to just a standard fuse system? It's easier in respect that if an error um, occurs or you have a fault, uh, so-called in the old days a blown fuse, the system here can retry automatically uh, mm -hmm. to help you uh, get out of the uh, out of the issue, uh, or it's very easy to uh, to reprogram or to reset the box and, and go on from that uh, aspect. So let's talk a little bit about that troubleshooting aspect. So let's say I'm driving down the road and my vehicle stalls, right? And in this case, it happens to be the fuel pump was no longer capable of transferring fuel. It stopped working. It failed. So in an old vehicle, I would you know, know did the fuse blow? I would, didn't wouldn't know what is going on. How would this help me diagnose that? You, on hand, you wanna? So if you got a dashboard in your vehicle, you can program it so you got a minimal threshold of current. If the fuel pump stops working, you drop to zero current or zero amps usually, and you'll get an alarm saying your fuel pump does not draw enough current. If it shorts the ground and you have a short circuit, it will show you it's drawing too much current and we turn the channel off. Okay. What about if I don't have that dashboard? Can I plug my laptop in and diagnose it through that? Yes, even uh, with a little LED, you can mm -hmm. have blinking codes that tells you which fuse have blown and you can reset it uh, from a single button. Okay. But Great. resetting is also very easy because it's switching your ignition off and turn it on again. And then uh, the issue will, uh, or the body module will then power up the, um, the outputs that were in a, in a fault mode. Okay. All right, now last question I, that I have that I think is relevant is, 
Um, it's a pretty sophisticated box, but now you said I, you know, now you're saying, but I don't have to put like relays in. I don't necessarily have to put some complex circuitry to drive some cool features. So is it harder or easier to actually do the physical wiring in the vehicle? Yeah, if you can wire up a regular fuse box, you can wire this system up uh, no problem. Yes. Great. Yeah, I would say it's probably easier to wire this up than uh, to make a, a conventional uh, fuse box work. Yeah. Every relay can be overridden from your laptop, so you can test every individual circuit and test if it's working. Does the fuel pump turn on? Does your right headlamp actually turn on? Great. Now, the other thing um, is, you know, there's a lot to this. And as you know, Evan is going to be doing some live chats on, on YouTube to answer questions. So please, in the comments below, you know, ask some questions, but if there's a lot of interest in learning more about this, uh, we can definitely probably do a YouTube Live and show people the programming and some of the features and how that's done. Okay, well that's great, you really to understand that it is gonna be easier uh, or definitely no more complex than a standard wiring of a vehicle. But, uh, you know, there's a lot we talked about, so if this is something that interests you, please ask questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them. But if there's a lot of interest and people want to learn more about this, as you know, Rev and Evan is setting up uh, YouTube Live so we could actually put something together, half hour, hour, to go through this in more detail, some of the programming, and get into more detailed questions. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to Rev and Evan. Yeah, Hit the subscribe button below. Do the and outro. sign up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>